Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball repair video for you today. This is a 1973 Williams Jubilee pinball. This is the same thing as a 1973 Williams Darling pinball, but a Darling is a two player and this is a four player. But even the back glass is the same. So, well, kind of the same. And uh, one of our viewers, Randy, was doing his uh, Darling a while back and uh, he got his all fixed up and we've got this four player jubilee so we're going to get this one fixed up too but i thought i'd film a video showing you what shape it's in when we got it this thing is pretty rough all of the white has faded to yellow on the sides that's probably going to stay like that though somebody's painted the the legs blue looks like crap um back box is a little beat up the back glass has a little bit of flaking, but it's not too bad. Her dress is all screwed up. Um, and there's a little bit of, their skin is screwed up. Makes it look like they've got leprosy a little bit, but it's not too bad. This guy over here, same thing going on. We had one of these a while back that someone had shot with, a, I guess, a BB gun. But in this guy's face, there was a little hole and like a round spot where a, some kind of bullet had went through. And we fixed it. So if we can fix it, we can fix this one. So the back glass isn't too bad. The play field is fairly rough. It's uh, got some bad touch-up paint on it. We'll have to see if we can get that looking better. Same thing over here. And then somebody, now I know Randy didn't do this to his darling, but somebody has put an extra rubber ring over it so that the ball can't even go in the kick out. So that's probably because that coils burn up or something. I don't know. We'll see. Um, somebody had kind of shopped it a little bit back in the day so they put new pop bumper stuff on it pop bumpers look nice and clean and they they uh put new flipper rubbers rubbers on it and stuff and they, they touched up the pay, play field a little bit so somebody worked through it a little bit and got it kind of doing its thing so hopefully it won't need too much but we'll see so the first thing i'm going to do is uh, i'll take the glass off and we'll pop the, the hood on it and see what it looks like inside. So here's what the inside looks like. Let's see if we see anything screwed up. Uh, the lock relay is a little smoky, but now they're always like that. Everything else looks pretty good. Looks like at some point they've replaced the, uh, the main power cable, so that's good. Looks like they did a pretty good job on that. Uh, except it's inside. I might have to we'll look at that. Um, all the coils look pretty good. Here's the chimes. They're going to need some work, people. I think somebody may have been messing with those that didn't know what they were doing. Gonna need a little work. Uh, and there's a flipper rebuild kit here that they got from the pinball resource, which is a good idea. But when you rebuild the flippers, taping them onto the play field, that's a bad idea. So that part there, <laughs> all of that's gonna need to be figured out. You're not gonna get good flipper action out of that, people. But that won't be no big deal, we'll fix that. Looks like the bushing's probably just screwed up or the wrong one or something. We'll figure it out. All those relays look good. Little stepper unit looks good. Silent all is pretty good. Pretty nice. Let's see if we can see anything in the back. Might be too dark for you. Back door's missing, the back channel's missing. That's kind of a pain. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. I don't see anything missing. You're obviously screwed up. Oh, wait a minute, I do see something. Let me pull it out a little bit and I'll film it. 
I'm not sure how bright this is showing up, but um, there's a little jumper cable on here. But that's actually, there's nothing wrong with that. All they were doing was they were jumpering the switch together. Basically, they were putting it on free play. So nothing wrong with that. But everything else in here looks pretty clean. So uh, I think the first thing that we'll do is we'll pull the play field out and then we'll start working on cleaning up the inside of the cabinet and cleaning the switches and everything. Now you could just plug it in and see if it works. And it probably half-ass works, but we sell them and we like them to be super reliable if we sell them to somebody, you know? So uh, we go through everything. So there's no use plugging it in because you're gonna have to go through everything anyway. So I'll take the play field out. It just disconnects over here. Get it out of the machine and then I'll start working through all of these uh, uh, relays and I'll let you see what happens. Okay, so I've showed this like a million times on games, but I'm going to show you on this reset relay how you like figure out what to do about the switches. So usually you don't have to adjust the switches. Usually they're fine. But this is the reset relay and it's got all three types of switches on it. Let me see if I can get this camera to stop shaking. All right, so this reset relay has all three types of switches. So over here, there may be another type of switch that I'm not aware of, but in general, you have three types of switches. So this one is a normally open switch. So normally, when the reset's turned off, it's open. So watch this switch whenever I pull the reset in, the, the relay in. So it closes. And see how the, the short part of the uh, switch just barely moves whenever the other one hits it? You see this one over here is doing the same, and this one's doing the same. So there's three in a row there. And see how the short blade moves? That's what you want. And then this one right here is a normally closed switch. So it's normally together, and when the relay pulls in, it opens. And then when, see when it goes back how it barely moves the short blade? That's what you want. And then these two over here are make-break switches. So see how the bar and the, the blade in the middle is long, and it's the one that gets moved by the relay. And then it 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 uh, makes the connection on this side, and it breaks the connection on this side when it pulls in. See how it it's both of the switches combined, basically, right? And see how both of the small blades are moving. Like, see this one on the left; it's really dancing good. <laughs> see how the small blade moves on each side as the center blade touches it. That's what you want. So if you got it like that, pretty much everything will work. So I'm going through. And when another thing, don't go through and adjust every switch. If you see it and it, you can barely tell that it's barely moving and you go, oh, I wish it was moving a little better. Let me bend it. You're going to screw things up. Don't do that. If it's, if it's just barely touching it and you can still see it moving, just barely, leave it alone. Um, these things, they get into a rhythm. Like once they're played, they get the reason that you want it to move slightly is because it actually cleans it so that the two pads the two points touch each other and they, they they move just slightly and it actually cleans it doing that but when you play these things they get into a rhythm and it just kind of likes how it is if you go through and you try to get everything perfect it will not work right you'll screw something up so and uh, we clean them so I use like an old worn out file you just want to use something you don't want to get anything too abrasive where you're uh, eating the coating off of the points, but you just want to get them clean. You'll see they've got filth all over them. So I've done all of those. I also did the uh, score motor. So now I've got these two stepper units here that I'm going to take apart. So uh, I'm going to take the spider off and I'll show you what that looks like whenever I get it apart. So I'll show you what we do on these stepper units. There's actually two of them here that are very similar, right? And so you see, I've taken the uh, spider off of this one. Spider's still on that one. So you take the spider off, and that gives you just a little bit of play in the in the shaft. I usually try to get a little three-in-one oil down in there just to get it where it's lubricated a little bit, if it's metal on metal. If it's metal on uh, nylon, don't put any lubricant on it. Because the, the nylon, it'll swell up a little bit if it gets too much oil on it. But if it's metal on metal, put a little bit of oil on it. And then I clean these um, Bakelite boards here to get the contacts nice and shiny. 
And then on this side, <laughs> this is the, the trickiest part. When it resets, so this one makes it go uh, backwards. So when it resets, this bar should spin around and open up this switch. But you have to get it where when it comes off of that, it closes the switch. So it's, it's, it's really hard to get that just right. So you got to get it where it's in all the way, one way, it barely opens the switch, and then as soon as it comes off of it, it closes the switch. You can see on this one how it's pushed the switch way down. That's probably not right. It's probably not supposed to be like that. So I might have to look into that. Or actually, that may... I don't know. So that's the tricky part is the switches on those. And you need to, of course, mark the uh, spider so that you know how it goes back on because it's real easy to put them on upside down and then nothing will work so we got to clean all that get everything lubricated and doing its thing um, and you, you, you need to get it where every time you pull in the plunger it steps up one spot and when you go that way it either resets all the way back if that's how it's designed or goes back one spot so the, the stepper units are really important and the, the main thing that you have to get right all right, these are the schematics for a similar Williams game, four player. And you can see this right here. It says coin unit, which is that, that stepping unit that we're looking at on the bottom. Coin unit last position break switch. And then un under that it says ball count zero break switch. Player unit zero break switch. So what that's telling you is that when the ball count, when, which is the one next to it, the one the, the first stepping unit that we're, stepper unit that we're looking at, that switch should open at zero. It should break at zero. So whenever the whenever the thing rotates all the way, whenever it gets to zero, it should open that switch. But it's telling you that this one, the coin unit last position break switch, should open when it's at the last position. So it's completely backwards. So that's why it looks all bent down. It's supposed to be like that. It shouldn't open until it gets all the way to the front. Not when it's at the zero position, when it's at the last position. Okay, so here is that switch. So when you hit and reset the wheel, that's the zero position, which is actually the first coin. That's the second coin. Third coin, see it's still connected. And then fourth coin, now it's finally open. So that's how you can get it where you can press the start button four times, but you can't press it five times. So that's exactly how it's supposed to be. So we got everything clean. We uh, got this two stepper units doing our thing. I cleaned the Jones plugs and plugged them back in, put the play field back up in, had it tilted back, uh, cleaned all the switches, <laughs> cleaned the stepper unit over there, put it all back together. Um, there was a wire that was loose on the uh, one of the pop bumpers, put that back. And uh, I wanted to show you a couple things. One thing is they've done this little upgrade on some of the sockets. These old sockets get all worn out where the uh, basically they dry out and the fitting, the way it fits together isn't what it once was. So the, the way it originally was, like on this one, the wire comes up to this little blade, which through a press fitting, there's a little uh, piece that moves in the middle of it. So when you push the bulb in, it can move. Um, which gives it a little tension to hold the bulb in place. But after a while, that all gets corroded and blah, blah, blah. So one way that you can go around that is you can jumper a wire from that blade to the very tip, the part that moves. You can see it coming out a little bit. And so if you do that, it makes it a really stable connection. So they did that on almost all of the bulb sockets. That's pretty cool. But the weirdest thing they did was they had this flipper bushing here, and they had all of this tape on it. They had taped it all in place, I guess because uh, the screws, let me get this stuff all off of me, the screws on it had came loose, all right? So it looks like they've been trying to glue it and everything else. See how the holes are all screwed up? But folks, you know, if, <laughs> if it won't hold like that anymore, why can't I just turn it like that? <laughs> All you got to do is turn it a little bit, folks. Come on now. 
So I'm going to turn the bushing slightly and then put the screws in brand new wood and then not have any more problems for the rest of eternity. Uh, so that'll be easy to fix. So we'll, we'll get that back up in there. Um, the flipper plunger someone had replaced, so that's good. Those are a must replace. And then they didn't replace the one on this side. It's the original one. But I've still got the rebuild kit here, and it's in the rebuild kit. So we'll rebuild it by putting the new plunger on it. It looks like they must have had some kind of problem with this flipper because they replaced the coil and everything. But uh, we'll get that bushing in there right and get everything tightened up where we can put the flipper back through the play field. Um, and then that'll be about it for underneath the play field. So now it's time to look in the back box and start working through all that stuff. Okay folks, so it's several hours later and we've went through and cleaned all of the little stepper units. That one was filthy. I mean filthy. Um, but it's all the same stuff. You just do the same thing over and over again. You get all the stepper units stepping. You get all of the uh, all of the switches changing state so whenever it pulls in whatever it pulls in whatever the relay pulls in it goes from open to closed or closed to open or it makes and breaks like we were looking at uh, you clean all of your Jones plugs so we can just take a little sandpaper and clean them up here's more relays down here um, you've got this big huge unit here I think that is that the 09 match unit I believe it might be um, and then all the score reels uh, I took off and uh, just wiped down. They had a lot of black soot on them, but I didn't, I didn't go crazy on it. I just cleaned them as good as I could and uh, cleaned all of the little, all of the little uh, switches on the top so that they open and close like they should. And there weren't any broken wires. Like I said, this thing, it's, somebody has already gone through this thing. I don't know how long ago, but they've, uh, it's in decent shape already. So the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drop this light box here and replace all the light bulbs in the light box and pull the back glass out because we have to do some work on the back glass. But um, I'll show you what the front of it looks like. So we found something pretty interesting. In the back, <laughs> in the back box they have replaced some of the bulbs with colored bulbs. So I replaced all the clear ones. You got a few here that aren't as bright. If you ever get one that's not real bright, just twist it a little bit. See if that, the whole socket, see if that helps you out. Like that one's not bright. Bam. Um, so I replaced all the ones that uh, were not um, colored. But I left the colored ones. And the reasons that I, the reason that I left, and... and these two. So whenever you've got a socket that's round like that, it's because it's supposed to have a flashing bulb in it. So 455. Uh, they usually put those behind the name of the game and it, it'll flash and uh, kind of give a little animation to the back glass. Okay, so the reason that they put the colored bulbs in it is because of the black back glass that had flaked. And look at this. So they have put colored film on the back glass. When the back glass is flaked, you get one of two things happening. Um, either big pieces flake off, or you just get little tiny pieces that flake off. Like, and that's what's happened to this one. Little pieces have flaked off. And the reason that it does that is because of, it's been stored uh, in the cold. Usually, once, it, once uh, you get it where you've got it in a, a climate-controlled environment, it doesn't get any worse. So you can triple thick it, but... It's, if it's just a little tiny pieces flaking off, usually all of them that are going to flake off have already flaked off. So I was going to touch it up, but now I'm kind of curious to see how the hell it looks. So I'm going to pop it back up in there, and I'm going to leave the colored light bulbs right where they had them. They're not LEDs. They're actually like incandescent bulbs. And we'll see if it lights up pretty good or if it looks like crap. If it looks like crap, I'll probably have to paint it. Hmm. Well... I gotta give it to them. It looks pretty presentable like that. It's probably, I don't think I could really make it any better with paint. Whenever I paint it, it always, it always looks splotchy, but they've actually got it pretty good. Whenever you, you uh, have the paint flaked like that, the 
when it looks bad is when you can just look through it and see the bulb or whatever but they've actually got it looking pretty good so whoever that is out there that did this I think I'm just gonna leave it like that looks pretty good certainly passable hey let's turn the lights off don't y'all love it in my videos when I go turn the lights out let's walk over here to the light switch What do you think? Focus is off a little bit. Let's get it to focus. Hmm. I don't know. I, I kind of like it. I don't think I could really get it much better with paint. So I'll think about it a little bit, people. I might decide to repaint it. But for now, we're going to leave it like that. So I'll turn the lights back on and then we'll. Uh, I've got everything cleaned and everything, so we'll try to start a game and see if it's going to even attempt to play. So I set it on free play, and I'm just going to hit start and see if anything happens. I haven't tried anything yet. We'll see if uh, we get anything. Now basically, if we've got it right, all of these scores will reset. I purposely left them all on one, or that one on two, just so they had to reset uh, for the game to start. So we'll see what we get. The zeros on all of them are dummy reels. They're fake. Sounded pretty good. Let's see what coil's locked on. Something's buzzing. What is buzzing? It's this one. Okay, so there's a relay stuck there. Which will be because of a stuck switch on the play field. Hmm. All right, so basically the reason that that's buzzing is because somewhere on the play field there's a switch stuck, and so it's like 10 points or something, and it's stuck on all the time. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Hmm. Might be that one. Well, maybe we'll look at the schematics, see if we can track down, or maybe it's this advanced one. Hmm, did you hear it hit the, uh... oh look, we've got a clue. There is a clue, folks. It's got 200 points on it, so it's something that scores 100 points. It probably doesn't even say on this, nope. Um, hundred points when lit. That's on the pot bumpers. Hmm. Well, let's look in the schematics. See if I can track it down. So I looked on the schematics, and basically it's just the pot bumpers. So I don't know. I think one of them was stuck down. I started it over again, and it's not doing it now. But so we'll see if it sticks again. Um, so we're back at the beginning of a game, everything zeroed back out. It's counted down our bonus, it looks like. Um, I shot the ball back out. It says we're on ball two. I can't really play it because, uh, The flippers are quick. I don't know how they played it with that rubber ring there. I mean, what what do you do whenever that happens? Well, that's weak. So we need to work on that, definitely, right? So all of that stuff that we need to mess with when we clean the play field. I'll go back in there. All right, so it looks like it's doing its thing. Ball number three. Let's see if it'll, if that's the last ball, or if it goes to ball number five. I mean, if it goes. To... We'll see if it has a, if it's set on five balls. Ball 
four. You know I'm a three ball type of guy. I realize a lot of the ten balls are supposed to, the older ones are supposed to be five. But. All right, ball four and ball five. Double when lit. And we got our game over. That's great. All right, so basically I think we're up and running. We might have to troubleshoot it again a little bit later, but I think we've got it all fixed up where it's at least uh, playable. I don't want to play it too much though because the play feels filthy. Look at that crap. <laughs> so anyway, there you go. All right, so we worked through it. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start tearing down the play field and do all the cosmetics on the play field. It looks to me like they've clear coated this thing. Look, see that? They have clear coated this thing after they touched it up, but the touch up's pretty weak. <laughs> so I got to touch it up again. What are they doing to me? Tell me all this dirt isn't underneath the clear coat. I think all that dirt is underneath the clear coat. What the hell are they doing? Mm. so we'll do that in the next video so uh we'll wrap it up at least we got it up and running I tried to show you what we kind of worked with and we may still have to mess with that back glass i don't know if i'm gonna be happy with that or not but uh we'll do that on the next video so leave your comments below what you think about it so far give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film all this for you and we will see you on the next video jubilee